Do you ever feel like you're simply going through the motions? Like there's something missing, some hidden potential waiting to be unlocked? We all carry burdens that drain our energy and limit our growth. These burdens can be the voices in our heads telling us we are not good enough or unhealthy relationships that hold us back. But what if you could eliminate these burdens one by one? What if you could discover a life of greater clarity, peace, and fulfillment? In this video, we'll explore 11 specific things you can quietly eliminate from your life to unlock your true potential. This video is more than just acquiring knowledge. It's about actively engaging in self-reflection and creating lasting change. Think of it as a map, guiding you towards a more fulfilling and authentic life. By letting go of unnecessary burdens and embracing the wisdom of stoicism, you can finally unlock your true potential and start living a life that truly matters to you. So stay with me until the end and discover how to eliminate the unnecessary and create a life filled with clarity, peace, and lasting happiness. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content inspired by the Stoic wisdom. Number one, toxic relationships. Do you have people in your life who constantly drain your energy? These are the individuals who leave you feeling exhausted, frustrated, and depleted after every interaction. Perhaps it's a friend who gossips and complains, a family member who criticizes and judges, or a colleague who creates drama and negativity. These toxic relationships can have a significant impact on our inner peace and emotional stability, hindering our progress toward a life of virtue, serenity, and well-being. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, the greatest revenge is not to be like that. Holding on to resentment and anger toward these individuals increases our stress and hinders our emotional growth. Instead, Stoicism teaches us to take responsibility for our own happiness and identify and eliminate the things that disrupt our inner peace. One powerful Stoic tool is the practice of negative visualization. By taking time to imagine the potential negative consequences of specific situations, we can develop resilience and prepare ourselves for challenging interactions. For example, visualize yourself remaining calm and assertive, setting healthy boundaries, and communicating effectively even when facing a challenging interaction. By mentally rehearsing positive responses, we can become more empowered and less likely to be affected by negativity. But it is not always enough to simply visualize. Sometimes we need to take concrete action. Setting clear boundaries with these toxic individuals is crucial for preserving our own well-being. This could involve limiting contact, expressing our needs clearly, or even ending the relationship entirely. Remember, you cannot control the actions of others, but you can control how you react to them. By prioritizing your own mental and emotional health, you create space for the positive and fulfilling relationships that truly improve your life. Number two, negative self-talk. Deep within each of us lives a voice a voice that criticizes, judges, and doubts our every move. This is the voice of negative self-talk, a relentless companion that often shapes our emotions and actions. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus reminds us, it's not events that disturb us, but the views we take of them. Our thoughts or impressions, as the Stoics called them, have a profound impact on our well-being and happiness. But what if we could silence this inner critic? What if we could learn to replace the negativity with rational thinking and self-compassion? The Stoics offer a powerful tool for this, the practice of disputation. 
By questioning the validity of our negative thoughts and replacing them with more realistic and positive ones, we can break free from the cycle of self-doubt and negativity. For example, when the voice in your head whispers, you're not good enough, challenge it. Ask yourself, is this thought truly helpful? Is there any evidence to support it? What would a wise and compassionate person say to me in this moment? By engaging in this internal dialogue, you can begin to see through the negativity and recognize your inherent worth as a human being. Remember, you are more than your thoughts. You are the observer of your thoughts. By practicing self-compassion and challenging negative self-talk, you can cultivate a more positive and fulfilling inner world. You are capable of achieving great things, and by silencing the inner critic, you can finally embrace believing in yourself. Number three, clutter. We live in a world overflowing with stuff. Clothes pile high in closets, paperwork mountains rise on desks, and digital clutter burdens our devices. This chaos can weigh heavily on our minds and spirits, but amidst this chaos, the Stoics offer a powerful antidote, simplicity. Imagine your home transformed. No longer a jumble of possessions, it's a haven filled only with objects that enrich your life. Picture your desk clear, organized, and ready for focused work. Imagine your phone streamlined, free from distractions, and overflowing with the apps you truly value. By eliminating clutter, we cultivate a sense of peace and clarity. We free ourselves from distractions and gain space for what truly matters, meaningful connections, fulfilling pursuits, and living a life of virtue. Decluttering our physical and digital spaces reduces stress, increases efficiency, and opens doors to new experiences. Start by asking yourself a simple question. Does this object serve a purpose? Does it bring value to my life? If not, consider letting it go. You might be surprised by the liberation that comes with releasing the unnecessary. As you declutter, you'll discover that true wealth lies not in accumulating things, but in the richness of your experiences and the depth of your relationships. So embrace the freedom of simplicity. Start today and discover a life with less, a life filled with more. Number four, unrealistic expectations. We often set ourselves up for disappointment by clinging to unrealistic expectations, both for ourselves and the world around us. We strive for perfection, control every outcome, and feel crushed when things inevitably deviate from our plan. But as the Stoics remind us, happiness is not a matter of circumstance, but of mind. Embracing the concept of amor fati, or love of fate, can be a powerful antidote to this suffering. Amor Fati is not about passive resignation, but about accepting what is beyond our control. It's about acknowledging that things will not always unfold according to our desires, and that's okay. By letting go of our rigid expectations, we open ourselves to the unexpected joys and lessons life has to offer. This doesn't mean abandoning our goals, Instead, it encourages us to set realistic and achievable goals aligned with our values and circumstances. It's about focusing on the process and progress, not just the outcome. The Stoics also offer a valuable practice for navigating uncertainties and disappointments. Premeditation of evils. This involves visualizing potential challenges and setbacks beforehand preparing ourselves mentally and emotionally for their occurrence. By anticipating the worst, we feel less overwhelmed when faced with actual difficulties. So let go of your unrealistic expectations. Embrace a more fati and accept that life is a journey with its inevitable ups and downs. 
set realistic goals, focus on the present, and prepare for the unexpected. This shift in perspective will lead to greater peace, resilience, and a deeper appreciation for the beauty and richness of life. Number five, time wasters. In our modern world, time often feels like a precious commodity slipping through our fingers like sand. We are always running around doing lots of things, but not really focusing on anything. We waste time on things that don't matter and don't take time to think about what we really want or need. But for the Stoics, time was not just a resource, it was a virtue. As Seneca teaches us, the greatest obstacle to living is expectancy, which hangs upon tomorrow and loses today. Honoring time as a virtue means recognizing its limited nature and using it wisely. It involves identifying and eliminating activities that drain our energy and contribute no real value to our lives. Ask yourself, does this activity bring me closer to my goals and aspirations? Does it enrich my life in a meaningful way? If the answer is no, consider letting it go. The Stoics offered a powerful practice to help us focus on the present and live each day with purpose. Memento mori, or remember death. This isn't about morbid fascination, but about a gentle reminder of our mortality. By acknowledging the limited time we have, we are encouraged to prioritize our values, pursue our passions, and make the most of each precious moment. Imagine your days filled not with empty scrolling, but with activities that nourish your mind and spirit. Picture yourself focused on meaningful pursuits, connecting with loved ones, and contributing to something larger than yourself. This is the life that awaits when we honor time as a virtue. Start by identifying your time wasters, big and small. Then reclaim your time by making intentional choices about how you spend it. Remember, each day is a gift, an opportunity to live a life of purpose and fulfillment. Embrace the present, honor your time, and create a life that truly matters. Number six, comparison. We live in a world obsessed with comparison. Social media feeds showcase curated highlights of others' lives, often leaving us feeling envious, inadequate, and even depressed. The Stoics, however, offer a powerful antidote. The pursuit of eudaimonia, a state of flourishing and happiness derived from living virtuously, not by comparing ourselves to others. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. True happiness comes not from external validation, but from living in accordance with our values and pursuing our unique strengths. When we compare ourselves to others, we lose sight of our own progress and fall prey to a distorted sense of reality. Instead of focusing on what others have, cultivate a deep appreciation for your own journey. Celebrate your small victories, acknowledge your strengths, and embrace your individuality. Remember, you are on your unique path with your own set of talents, experiences, and challenges. Comparing yourself to others is like comparing apples to oranges. It's pointless and ultimately harmful. The Stoics offer a valuable practice for breaking free from the cycle of comparison. Self-observation. This involves taking time to reflect on your thoughts and emotions, particularly when you find yourself comparing yourself to others. By observing these patterns, you can become aware of their negativity and replace them with self-acceptance. Embrace your imperfections, celebrate your progress, and focus on your own journey. This shift in perspective will allow you to cultivate true inner happiness, the eudaimonia that the Stoics strived for. 
Remember, the most meaningful comparison is not with others, but with your own past self. Strive to be a better version of yourself each day, and you will discover a deeper sense of fulfillment and contentment. Number 7. Fear of Failure Fear of failure can be a paralyzing force, preventing us from stepping outside our comfort zones and pursuing our dreams. We may avoid taking risks, shying away from challenges that could lead to potential stumbles. But the Stoics remind us that the true path to growth lies not in the avoidance of failure, but in embracing it as a necessary part of the journey. As Epictetus taught, it's not what happens to you that matters, but how you react to it. The Stoics believed in virtue as the only good, meaning that our true worth comes not from external achievements or recognition, but from the virtuous character we cultivate within ourselves. Failure, when viewed through this lens, becomes an opportunity to learn, grow, and refine our character. Imagine a child learning to walk. They stumble, fall, and pick themselves up again countless times. Each fall represents a chance to refine their balance and coordination, eventually leading to the joy of independent movement. Similarly, our failures in life offer valuable lessons and opportunities for personal growth. Instead of fearing failure, embrace it as a stepping stone on your journey towards self-improvement. Reframe your mindset and see challenges as opportunities to develop resilience learn from mistakes, and cultivate courage. Remember, the greatest failures often lead to the most significant improvements. By accepting and even welcoming failure, you free yourself from the shackles of fear and open yourself to a world of possibilities. Embrace the journey, learn from your stumbles, and discover the strength and wisdom that lie within you. As Marcus Aurelius was stating, the obstacle is the way. Number 8. Procrastination. We all know that feeling, that dreaded task looming over us, the to-do list growing longer by the day, yet we find ourselves inexplicably drawn to distractions and delaying the inevitable. Procrastination, though seemingly harmless, can become a major obstacle on our path to achieving our goals. Often its root lies deeper than laziness. It stems from a fear of failure, the unknown, or the absolute importance of the task ahead. But the Stoics offer a powerful antidote to this inactivity. The concept of prohoresis, or free will. We are not passive participants in our lives but agents with the power to choose and act. As Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you that matters, but how you react to it. Instead of dwelling on fears or anxieties, we can cultivate the stoic virtue of courage, the ability to act in the face of uncertainty and difficulty. We can break down large tasks into smaller, more manageable steps, making them less daunting and more achievable. By focusing on the present moment and taking action, we overcome procrastination and make real progress toward our goals. Imagine yourself free from the shackles of procrastination, energized and focused on the task at hand. Picture the satisfaction of completing a project, knowing you conquered your fears and took control of your time. This is the power that lies within each of us the power to choose action over procrastination and responsibility over distraction. So embrace your prohoresis, break free from the chains of procrastination and embark on the path of deliberate action. The Stoics knew the time is now, the place is here. Number nine, unhealthy habits. Unhealthy habits can slowly take root in our lives, weakening our physical and mental well-being and hindering our pursuit of virtue. They drain our energy, 
cloud our judgment and make it difficult to focus on what truly matters. For the Stoics, living in accordance with nature meant not only respecting the external world, but also nurturing our own internal well-being. Just as a gardener carefully tends to their plants, we must take conscious responsibility for our own health and cultivate habits that promote well-being. This doesn't require drastic changes or restrictive measures. It's about making small, consistent choices that align with our values and contribute to our overall flourishing. Start by reflecting on your daily habits. Identify those that drain your energy and replace them with activities that nourish your mind and body. Prioritize sufficient sleep, nutritious meals, and regular physical activity. Take time for mindful practices like meditation or spending time in nature. These seemingly small actions can have a profound impact on your physical and mental resilience. Cultivating self-discipline is key to developing healthy habits. Start small, set achievable goals, and celebrate your progress. Remember, every positive choice you make, no matter how small, is a step towards a healthier and more fulfilling life. By taking responsibility for your well-being and choosing habits that align with your values, you create a foundation for a life filled with mental clarity, physical strength, and the ability to pursue virtue with unwavering resolve. Start today by choosing one healthy habit and watch as your life transforms. Number 10. Negative News and Media These days, we are constantly listening to negative news and media content, tragic events, sensationalized headline, and endless streams of negativity can overwhelm our senses and distort our perception of reality. This continuous exposure to negativity can fuel anxiety, fear, and a sense of helplessness. The Stoics, however, provide a powerful answer. The concept of indifference towards things beyond our control. This doesn't imply apathy or indifference to suffering. It's about recognizing that external events and media narratives are not inherently good or bad. We cannot control them, but we can control our response to them so, instead of allowing negativity to consume us, we can practice stoic indifference and focus on what we can control, our thoughts, our actions, and our interpretation of events. This doesn't mean we have to avoid news and information altogether. It means consuming it responsibly and with a critical eye. Be mindful of the sources you engage with Seek out diverse perspectives and limit your exposure to sensationalized content. By practicing stoic indifference, we can filter out the noise of negativity and focus on what truly matters. Therefore, choose to be mindful of your information consumption, cultivate stoic indifference, and reclaim your mental well-being. Remember, your inner peace is not determined by external events but by your own perspective and response to them. Number 11. Negative Emotion Negative emotions, like powerful storm clouds, can darken our skies and obscure our path. Unmanaged anger, fear, and envy can lead to destructive actions and hinder our ability to pursue virtue. For the Stoics, these uncontrolled emotions were considered passions, and understanding their nature was crucial for living a balanced and fulfilling life. The Stoics practiced emotional hygiene, a process of identifying and managing negative emotions before they could escalate. This involved introspection, self-awareness, and the recognition that our emotions are often our interpretations of external events not the events themselves. By questioning our initial reactions and reframing situations in a more objective light, 
we can gain control over our emotional responses. Cultivating stoic virtues like wisdom and temperance strengthens our emotional resilience. Wisdom allows us to see situations with clarity and reason, while temperance promotes moderation and self-control. By developing these traits, we become less susceptible to emotional triggers and can respond to challenging situations with composure and grace. Start by acknowledging your emotions without judgment. Practice mindfulness and observe your thoughts and feelings without getting overwhelmed by them. Remember, you are not your emotions. You have the power to choose how you'll respond to them. As we conclude our exploration of the things you should eliminate from your life, a powerful truth arises. The key to a fulfilling existence lies not in external validation or fleeting pleasures, but in cultivating inner peace and self-mastery. By applying stoic principles, we embark on a transformative journey, shedding unnecessary burdens and embracing the virtues that guide us towards a life of purpose and enduring happiness. Remember, the Stoics believe that external events cannot truly harm us. It is our interpretation and response that determine our well-being. By eliminating these things, we gain the power to navigate life's challenges with unwavering resolve. Let this video be a starting point for your Stoic exploration. Continue learning, reflecting, and practicing these principles. Embrace the challenges and celebrate the victories, knowing that you are on a path towards inner strength, resilience, and a life filled with meaning. Like and subscribe to our channel for more stoic wisdom and insights to inspire your journey. Thanks for watching. Until next time.